And lastly, it's such a funny company to me. If you've ever used a subtask within a company managed project, then you know when I say these words, the struggle is real. But if you've ever used subtasks within a team managed project, then the struggle is not as real. And why is that? So let's take a look at the differences between a company managed project and a team managed project. And specifically, let's take a look at how Atlassian treats subtasks differently. Why this inequality? I know not why, but it is a little annoying and I share it with you and kind of just vent a little bit as to why and how subtasks work differently. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. There's a red button down below. Totally free for you to just smash that red button and it helps the channel grow tremendously. Also, drop a like if you get value to this video and or enjoy the conversation. This is going to be a little bit more of a fun story than anything else. So hopefully you find some humor in it and you smash that like button to help so show that support. And then if you have any questions, comments or concerns or a perspective or you want to share your stories, your frustrations, let me know in the comment section below. Now, I don't intend this video to be a negative one. I do just want to kind of reflect on the differences and just a little bit of an annoyance because I love company managed projects. In fact, I only almost exclusively use company managed projects in my day to day work using Jira. Very little, very rarely do I ever touch a team managed project. And there's just a couple of things in a team managed project that Jira does so well that I wish that they would bring over to the company managed project because it would make my life and everybody else that uses company managed projects lives way better. So let's take a look at the subtests. So first I'm going to jump into a company managed project and let me kind of build up the story here for you. So if I go to my backlog view, this is the view that I get when I am trying to essentially plan out a sprint. It only shows me my stories, which is how this is designed to work. This is the way Jira works. It won't show you your epics and it won't show you your subtests, at least not at face value. You'll be able to see your epics if you expand your panel and you can see a subtask, assuming that an issue has a subtask. If you click on it and then on the right hand side, you'll see the subtasks. But if you have that hidden and this hidden, there is no way for you to know that this particular issue has any subtasks. And some teams, and the way I've learned it from the Epic Guide to Agile, is that subtasks is really where the teams outline how to do their work. And some teams like to plan that how. I typically, because of the limitations of Jira, I typically tell my teams only worry about the story because that's really all you can see and let the how be up to the developers. Give them the autonomy to deal with the how. But it's just a little annoying that Jira doesn't give you that flexibility so that you can bring in and plan your subtasks because so many teams are doing their estimates at the subtask level and then they want to see the roll up at the story and it just doesn't work very really well. But let me show you now how this subtask situation works instead of a team managed project. So when I go to a team managed project and I go to the backlog, you will notice that I have my same sprint view up here and I have the same backlog view down here. But one key thing is inside of this view that I just absolutely love. So check this out. If you look very closely, you're going to see what appears to be some sort of like an org chart icon. This tells you that you have a subtask. So you can see that these first two stories have subtasks. And if I hover over it, I know that this one has three and I know that this one has two. And I also know that this bug has nothing because there's no subtask here. Now, this is really, really cool. This here will tell me, hey, there's more to this story than meets the eye. And I don't have to click on it to know that there's more. In fact, I can hover. I don't have to click. I can just simply hover and get some additional metadata that can then help me create some very strategic decisions with my team. Now, things get a little bit more interesting down here. If I were to create a story, and in this story, if I were to create a subtask here, and let's create two for the sake of this demonstration. Now, when you go down to the backlog and you have issues down there that also have the subtask, you'll notice the same child issues that also gives you that same view. 
So this is a really, really cool view. This is, I think, super interesting because now I have that extra metadata so I can make the right decision. When I am in a company managed project and I'm using subtests, I'm shooting in the dark. I don't know if an issue has subtests or not. I don't know if there's way more to that issue than meets the eye because I have to click into it and then go figure it out. But with this team managed view, I really, really like that I can see at a glance, what am I dealing with? How complex is this story? And so this is really interesting. And I really, really do hope that Atlassian would bring this functionality over to the company managed projects because having that little icon here would be really, really amazing so that I can now make better decisions when we're doing our sprint planning so that things don't get dropped through the cracks because when you don't see something, it's very easy to forget about it in the heat of the moment. So the little icon at last and if you're listening would be super, super awesome if we can get it over in the company managed projects. Why they're not equal? That's a different topic for a different day, but it, it is a little frustrating that Atlassian treats that team managed project a little bit better because I, I actually do like some of the functionalities in a team managed project, but I like the standardization of the company managed project. So I am kind of like at a torn between two different roads of like the experience in team manage is actually kind of neat, but if you can bring some of the functionalities over to a company managed project, that will make the company managed project the ultimate way to use Jira. But fortunately, that is not the case, and I can only hold my breath and hopefully hope that Atlassian will one day have us feature parity. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you drop a thumbs up. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, there's that little red button down below that you should definitely go click because it's totally free for you, and it does help the channel grow tremendously. And finally, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or observations that you want to share, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks. Please make sure you share this video with everybody you know, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need